Hey, what's up, guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7, and we are back for a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR episode. Today, we're going to be playing as a paramedic here in Blaine County, as well as checking out some new EMS ambulances by Medic 4523. So, these new ambulances are the Chevy Silverado chassis, or is based on the Chevy Silverado chassis, I should say, and they come with two different light patterns, so or two different light setups. So we have this one that has the light bar setup, and it comes with two different liveries. So we got the San Andreas Fire Department, as well as the Blaine County Ambulance District. Both looks very cool. And then we also have this setup as well. Um, comes with the same Blaine County skin, but also a different San Andreas Fire Department paramedic skin. And they all look really good. So huge thank you to Medic4523 for releasing so many vehicles for Grand Theft Auto 5. If you really think about it, he, he really released so much for us. So thank you so much, Medic. And if you guys would like to check these out, I will link them down below in the video description. You can find these along with his other fire trucks, ambulances, and police vehicles, all exclusively on Modification Universe. So definitely go and check it out. Now, I do have a partner with me as well. Um, she's going to be helping us out with all of our calls. And we should be good to go. Another thing I forgot to show you guys was the actual inside of the ambulance, too. I kind of got distracted by that thing going on over there, but the police came and took care of it. So, very nice interior. We got a stretcher. We have some medical equipment. We have some bags over there. And then we also have the side door opens up as well. So, another entrance right in. Very, very cool. So, let's close that door. And again, we're going to go ahead and use this one for today. First thing first, let's go available for calls. So let's turn that on. And second, let's bring up our agency callouts menu. And we're gonna set ourselves available as a paramedic. So this is gonna switch us to the EMS calls. And yeah, let's see what we get. Let's go partner. All right, she's in. Yeah, I cannot believe how much it snowed in the past 24 hours. This is insane. Any of you guys got any snow in real life yet? That is crazy. Alright, looks like we're getting our first call, so let's go ahead and respond to that. So I forgot to also mention this ambulance does have scene lighting as well. So we'll probably show it off once it gets a little bit darker later in our shift. And I'll show you how it lights up the whole area. I love the lights on these though. This looks really nice. I could barely see the road right here, guys. I need the plow trucks out. There's also a mod that I need to add in too. We used it last year, and it makes the snow like much more slippery too. So we're gonna add that in to make this a little bit more realistic, and this is gonna be fun, especially for our Ace Towing series too, to get out and start towing here in the winter. I know it's gonna be crazy. Where the heck are we going? Cannot see a thing here. If it wasn't for the GPS, I would barely know that we're on a road right now. Alright, so I think the house we're going to is over there. That's where I'm seeing. I'm guessing the person hurt themselves in the snow. 
So let's go ahead and get to work and see what's going on. Dispatch said they were in the backyard here. Hello, ma'am. I'm here with the Blaine County Fire Department. Are you okay? She's limping a bit. Oh, you hurt your ankle? You want me to take a look at it? Okay. So we're just going to have to get her into the uh, ambulance. And we'll take a look at her. And we're probably going to have to transport her. Well, are you drunk, ma'am? Is that why you're limping? Don't tell me she's just drunk. Alright, so we gotta be careful. We gotta monitor her health and her vitals on the bottom right. Anything that we hit will definitely make her vitals go down, so we gotta be a little careful as we're driving. So far, it looks like she is stable. I really feel like she could have took like a taxi or something to the hospital, but you know, you guys know how it is, especially if you work in EMS. A lot of people just call for EMS like it's a taxi sometimes. And it's kind of crazy. But it is what it is, so we'll get her to the hospital and hopefully she'll be okay. So let's get her dropped off. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna be okay. You gonna take her in, buddy? Alright, thank you. Perfect. Thanks. All right, so he's gonna take her inside, and we are good to go. Jesus Christ! There you go. All right, pa one patient saved. That was a pretty easy one to get the day started. Looks like we're getting another call. Let's see what this one's about. Ten for responding. Oh no. Oh, I didn't think he was gonna stop in time. I thought he was gonna slam into that other car. This one looks like it's going to be at the yellow jack here. Alright, looks like we have one person down. Let's see what's going on. You okay, sir? Can you tell me what happened? 
Okay, where are you feeling your pain at? Oh, the police are here as well. Was this a hit and run or something? Well, not a hit and run because she's here, but... Is this a pedestrian hit? Oh, it looks like she hit the guy. Oh, wow. Alright, buddy. Oh, wait. How does he have a gunshot wound? Did she shoot him? What the heck happened? I don't even know what's going on. Alright, so he has a broken ankle, third degree burns, and he got shot. This guy's not having a good day. Let's try to treat him a little bit. Hey. We're gonna wrap up that gunshot Whoa, wound, shit. try to stop the bleeding. Take care now. Try to get him stabilized. Thanks. Okay, looks like we got him stabilized, so let's go ahead and get him ready to be transported now. And we could transport him ourselves. Alright, he's in. Partner in. Alright, let's get him to the hospital. I don't think you're gonna get it. You gotta go around the pole, not through it. There you go. Good job. I got it. Now watch him hit the car. <laughs> you gotta love GTA. Oh my god. And he finds another pole. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Alright, let's get this guy to the hospital. Gotta be extra cautious in the snow, too. Sometimes it wants me to take them into the back, but I'm noticing today we're mainly using the front entrance. Alright, sir. We're at the hospital. Let's go ahead and get him out. We're going to transfer him over to the hospital staff and they're going to take him in. Okay, perfect. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, who? Oh. He came out in a weird spot. I thought it was going to crush him. Let me move the ambulance out the way. Let's get ready for the next call. Any unit in the Vinewood area? We have a medical emergency and I'm not saying it keeps saying Vinewood instead of Sandy Shores. But we got a heart attack in progress. It's actually right here. Looks like it's at the motel. Honestly, staying at this motel in this type of weather definitely is not good. I mean, this place is abandoned, so I don't know why anybody's here in the first place. Alright, let's uh, go in there. This looks a little bit sketchy. Hopefully this isn't a setup or anything. Is it this person or are they upstairs? Hello, sir. You need help? It's the same guy. <laughs> you need help, sir? We're not really treating anybody. But, okay. Let's follow me. I like the calls when we actually get to, like, stop and try to bring them back and treat them and stuff like that. But so far, we haven't been getting any. So far as like we're just like picking people up and transporting them really but that's what it's like sometimes like I said that's what it's like is it stuck over there all right we're almost there sir Hello, 
life is good, you know. I'm trying to help people, help the community. Oh yeah, I right forgot. Thing, this guy know? has a heart attack. Okay, I forgot all about what it said. All right, let's get him there. My bad, my bad. I, I forgot. Looks like we got him here in time. Looks like he is gonna be okay. Muchas gracias. Oh goodness. <laughs> is he good? Ah, right, he's good. Alright guys, so we relocated a little bit. We're in uh, Grape Seed right now, right near the freeway, and just kind of staged in this area. Well, not really staged, but just parked in this area, and waiting for some more calls to come in. Alright guys, I got a report of a person shot. The police department are responding as well. And it looks like we got a motor vehicle accident over here as well. Uh, dispatch, I'm here on Union Road and US Route 13. It looks like we have an accident. Um, do you want us to respond to the accident or do you want us to go to the shooting? Shooting first? Okay. Alright. So they're gonna get another unit to respond to that. We gotta get to the shooting. Why is this guy out here in a motorcycle and t-shirt? He's bugging out. Sheriff Department are on scene. They didn't get out their car yet. It looks like they got stuck. There you go. Alright, so they're... What the heck? Okay. So they're going to go ahead and clear the scene. I should have probably stayed back a little bit further. And wait for them to give us the all clear. I didn't mean to get this close. But let's see what happens here. All right, we got the all clear, so we can move in. Got the same guy again. This never happens before. Like when we we normally don't get the same feds. All right, let's see what's wrong with this guy. Obviously, we know he got shot, but let's see where the bullets hit. If the bullets are still inside, if it's through and throughs, any major arteries hit. Okay, it looks like he's gonna be okay to get transported, so let's take him. Follow me, sir, right this way. I'm looking forward to getting a workout this weekend. 
Gotta stay in shape to do good. All right, he's in. Oh no. What is he doing? What? Hey, I guess he's taking a shortcut. It looks like he's okay. Whoa! Whoa! Roll over. Alright, he's still going, so I guess he's okay. No idea what happened with that. I'm guessing our lights bugged him out or something. I don't know. Right, it's starting to get dark so we can actually see the lights a little bit more. Look how it's actually rotating too with the LEDs. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that at first. That is nice. I feel like we need to take this ambulance in to get a little bit of maintenance. Our suspension is squeaking on this thing. Oh my goodness. I'm here forgetting that I'm in the snow. Don't mind me, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm bugging out. <laughs> Alright, wants me to take him to the back. I guess these rotating lights are, like, memorizing me. <laughs> oh, man, that was crazy. There's an interior for this place, too. I need to add it in and check it out. Alright, so I got one gunshot wound victim. Stable condition. Ooh. Right, there we go, we're good. Alright, so we saved four. Four people saved today. Oh, we got a report of a police officer injured. Alright, let's take this one. I'm going to let my partner drive for this call because I know you guys always like when she drives as well. So we're going to set her as the driver and she's going to drive now. All I got to do is just set a waypoint right here and she should drive there for us. All right, partner, you're up. All right, let's see how she does today. She always drives a little crazy, but... Maybe she'll be careful since it's snowing. I love the lights. She's out here working in this weather. What? She's crazy. Oh, we need to turn our headlights on, actually. I can't do it from the passenger seat, though. I love the way the lights are rotating though. This looks amazing. Alright, we're on scene. I want to just turn on the uh, scene lights. Let me just become the driver again. So I'm going to set her as the passenger. And I'm just going to turn the scene lights on. And I'm going to get another unit out here for backup, too, because I don't know what's going on. Shoot, sorry. I don't know what's going on, and I don't know if somebody hurt this officer, and they may still be nearby. You never know. All right, so we got our lights on, 360 degrees scene lighting. Let me just block this lane, actually. All right, cool. So, 
dispatch requesting backup. We have a code 99 on East Joshua Road. These lights are amazing. All right, let's go ahead and treat the officer here. Hopefully nobody hits our ambulance too. All right, let's see what happened to him. All right, he has second degree burns, mild bruise, hidden minor laceration, first degree burns. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that he got into maybe a car accident or something. Maybe his car is on fire. Let's go ahead and just treat what him a little fuck? bit. Hey. Take care of those burns. Whoa, shit. Okay. And let's get him Thank to the you. hospital. Whoa. Nobody respects the badge anymore, Oh, his you know? door is gone. Did he get hit, maybe? I don't know. I'm guessing car fire from the burns, but who knows. Alright, let's turn around. Let me turn my headlights on. I should let my partner drive back, but... That's okay. I'll let her do another call. Turn off these brights. So let me know what you guys think about this ambulance down below in the comments section as well. I think it is awesome. Again, huge thank you to Medic for releasing this for the community. He has released so many mods already and he continues to release them. And also the way that he releases them now is so easy to install. So thank you so much for making like this giant DLC pack. So that whenever you make a new vehicle for it, all we gotta do is just drag and drop the files in. It's, it's so simple now too. And by the way, if you guys like need help with installing the vehicles or the stuff like that, I do have tutorials on my website, acepilot2k7.com slash tutorials. I'll also link it down below in the video description. And from there, you can see how to install these fire trucks and ambulances. They're extremely easy thanks to the new method that Medic is using. All right, let's uh, get out of here. All right, I'm gonna let her drive again, so I'm gonna get out, set her as the driver. And after this call, we should be done with our shift, guys. It's been a long day. All right, you, you can head wherever you want. All right, I'll give her a waypoint. Let's head over there. Any unit in the Sandy Shore area, we have in Sandy Shore. All right, we just had that call, so let's see if we get something that we haven't had before. Maybe like a car accident or something. She's doing a good job driving today, though. I'm proud of her. All right, looks like we got another civilian shot. Let's get to it. It's gonna be all the way over there. Wait, no. <laughs> we gotta go here now, partner. All right, police are responding again. What the heck? Why did it put me in the driver's seat? All right, I don't know what's going on, but she doesn't seem to want to drive. Let me see if she'll get another passenger. All right, looks like our partner is clocking out, guys. We're on our own for the last call. So police just said the scene is secure. Let's get over there and see if we can help the victim out.
actually not much traffic out here. I guess since it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what's going on. Right, looks like I got one mail. Let's see where his wounds are at. Looks like he has a couple wounds in him. Let's get him stabilized and let's take him to the hospital. This must be the same cop from earlier at the Yellow Jack. These darn poles. We had a pretty successful day today, guys. We didn't have anything too crazy. We actually didn't have to do CPR on anybody, too. Normally, that's the hardest part, because that's normally when you could potentially lose people when you're trying to bring them back with this mod. But we had a pretty simple day today, guys. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about the video, what you thought about the ambulance, the snow. Did you guys enjoy everything? Um, also, if you did, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button as well. And really, just want to say thank you guys. You made it to the end of another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.